Hello everyone, today we will talk about WPF control password box. It is a control for entering passwords. Uh, it looks exactly like a text box, except that it hides the password uh, while user is entering it and shows asterisk uh, symbol or other symbol instead of the password. So, what might seem a simple control actually is a bit tricky because the password property in password box is uh, not a dependency property that means uh, we cannot bind this password property to a property in our view model because only dependency properties can be bound so there's a couple of workarounds for this I will, I will show you two ways one is to use an attached property and another way is to pull it straight from the view mm, while pulling straight, straight from the view might seem that uh, it, uh, it contradicts NVVM Ho however I will show you how to implement it uh, that it does not so first I will use the most common way is to use the attached property here I have already implemented this attached property I don't want to go into details about how attached properties work but I will explain you how this one does basically we have a dependency property called bound password and uh, when this uh, bound password the bound password property is changed we invoke this unbound password changed method and we attach to this password box uh, password changed method uh, event and we set this bound password to have the same value as the uh, password box password and uh, vice versa when the bound password is changed we change the password box password you are free to use this uh, class I don't mind and here is uh, how the view looks as you see we uh, bind this bound password property to password property in our view model and also it's, it is it is important to specify the mode and uh, update source trigger otherwise it will not work here's a quick look in our uh, view model we have a property password and the method continue in this continue method we will use this uh, password and do some logic maybe logging log, log, logging in uh, or signing up so I will add a breakpoint and run this application and we will see if we have the password I have entered Let's enter mm, hello password. Continue. And if we inspect this password property, we see hello password. Okay, so now let's uh, talk about uh, the other way uh, is to pull the password straight from the view because the password is available in the code behind so what we need to do is uh, uh, add a property that will retrieve us the password uh, also we need to give uh, the password box a name to be able to reach it in the code behind so we will remove the logic that we needed for attached uh, property password let's give this password box a name P 
PV box. Now let's go back to code behind and use a expression property PV box password. So now if we have this view in our view model, we can reach the password. I am using Calibre Micro and uh, it has a very useful feature that allows to pass the view as parameter to this continue method. So I will change the syntax a bit. Um, this means that the view will be passed as parameter to this continue method. And in view model, we expect login view as parameter. Uh, and this uh, login view password is the property that we just created. Uh, you might uh, think that uh, this. Uh, contradicts in VVM, and you are right, but I will show you in a second how we can change that. Let's run it first and see if it works. I entered test. And you see, we reached the password. I'm not sure about other frameworks if they have a possibility to pass uh, parameters to methods. However, I believe they should have something similar. Okay, so now let's create an interface and call it uh, a password provider. And it should have a property called password. We only need a get get method, really, most of the case. Of course, we can uh, add a method clear, but we don't need this right now. And let's uh, make this uh, login view implement this iPassword interface. I remove this user control because it is uh, not needed. It is available in the uh, view. It knows what control it is. So uh, let's implement iPassword provider. We already have the password property that implement implements this interface and uh, let's change our view model to ex expect a password provider let's run it again As you see, I entered password hello. So it does work. And uh, using this uh, iPassword provider, we now are compliant to MVVM because the view is not reachable in the view model. Only the iPassword provider interface, therefore, we don't have a dependency to the view now and we can unit test this view model.
another huge huge benefit of using this approach is that we can ret retrieve the secure password from uh, the password box uh, so this password box control has a property secure password and uh, a secure password is like a secure string so it is basically uh, invisible in memory let's say like that therefore if security is of main concern in your application you should use a secure password uh, so for that we need to change uh, uh, this type secure string uh, it is in namespace I think yeah, system security let's change the interface accordingly and now in our view model we can uh, reach the secure password of course don't forget uh, to dispose it here we go I hope this guide uh, was useful bye bye